Jonathan Moss has the responsibility. We do have VAR. As has been the case at all the uh, Premier League grounds in the third round of the FA Cup. And this is very much a Premier League ground, of course, an iconic stadium. And, uh, Everton looking right from the outset as though they mean some business with Gilfie Sigerson powering in. Well, I said that Divock Origi would play through the middle. It looks like Divock Origi is going to play on the left-hand side and Minamino is going to play through the middle. Maybe as a slightly withdrawn centre-forward. Origi does often appear on the left-hand side. He's done very well. He's played in four Anfield derbies. There's uh, Minamino. He has that more central role. Rigi has been the man here for this victory. He scored a very, very, almost a crazy goal to win the league derby here last season, right with the, with the last knockings after Jordan Pickford at this end of the stadium, <laughs> the cop end. But, uh, thought the ball was going to drop out. It dropped back off the bar and Rigi scored and 0-0 became 1-0. And it was another sad experience in this stadium for the boys in blue. Here's Morgan Schneidlin, who's uh, got fit again and got straight back in the team. Carlo Ancelotti looking for some pragmatism in midfield. Curtis Jones, a good play featuring the FA Cup last season. And he's already made a, a contribution to the League Cup this season with a winning penalty, an extraordinary game against Arsenal. Almost as if Liverpool tried to lose. <laughs> Arsenal scored five, but Liverpool got five as well and went to penalties. And Jones had to step up for the crucial one, well, and he didn't fail him. Yeah, if we thought he might play on the left-hand side, he's actually playing in centre midfield. It's him that's closing the ball down here. That's the second one that Pickford's gone long, looking for Calvert-Lewin. Well, Dominic Calvert-Lewin's in splendid form, and he's been really boosted by his new manager. He said that he was uh, plotting his progress even when he was working in Italy and Germany, saying that... Um, Albert Lewin came to his attention because he scored the winning goal, of course, for England under 20s from world champions a couple of years back. Here's Luca Dinia. It was uh, one well, Sidibe you mentioned right at the start, Stuart, who's a, a very athletic and ambitious right sided player. He's storming into the box then. It is a form of a back three with Coleman playing on the right hand side, Mina. Holgate, the other two centre backs, but it does mean that Sadibi is right wing back can really get forward. Look at Dinya down the other side, that was a left wing back crossing it for the right wing back. I could take uh, the view that Jurgen Klopp's taking a bit of a risk here in a very big game for the Liverpool fans. Uh, I think it's fair to say he's got uh, plenty of credit in that particular bank. If it does go wrong, and of course, if it goes right, he's a genius. Here's uh, Williams with a cross, and Origi with this excellent record. And he plays Everton here. But he may just have a chance in the air, Divock Origi, up against Coleman. Coleman, normally a right back, playing on the right hand side of that back three, which does change to a back four at times when they've got good possession. Yeah, of course, Coleman, a very experienced, orthodox right-back. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti's found a way to include him and Sidibe. Williams. That's gone out off Elliot, who's uh, signed from Fulham and became the youngest Premier League player, as Stuart said at the start, and uh, with his debut for Fulham were relegated at the back end of the last season. And he's hardly out of school then. Oh, well, there you saw what he likes to do, playing on the right-hand side. Likes to play the ball into the front plane, go and join in. Also a change of position for Theo Walcott. Looks as though he's going to play just in behind a front two of Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin. Not often seen him in that position, he usually plays in the wide areas. Of course, he, there was a period in Theo Walcott's career when he was telling us all that he wanted to be a centre-forward. He 
prove that he wasn't good enough when he's back to goal <laughs> and he played as a centre forward in the position he's playing here. Looks like he's going to try and run beyond Calvert Lewin whenever Calvert Lewin's going for the ball in the air. Dinia going in for the header, drops off with Charleston. And the ball is in to Walcott. And Calvert Lewin following up. Sidibe following up. Well, they're going to be direct, Everton. Well, you saw the long ball for Dinia, who won the first one in the air. Sigurdsson doing what he can do so well. Great pass for the run of Theo Walcott. Adrian in goal for Liverpool. Anderson, one of the many senior players, giving the day off. It's lovely work from Jones, who may well become a senior player as time goes on. Origi. And, uh, it was a teasing ball. It needed defending by Luca Dinho, who wants to get forward but has to get back there to stop Elliot sneaking in at the far post just wonder whether Elliot could have attacked that in the air rather than trying to bring it down good save by that man there though Adrian with his feet probably didn't know too much about it Walcott making the run he's onside Sigurdsson with the pass it's a brilliant one Milner just about did enough but there's Calvert-Lewin in such good form at the moment strikes it brilliantly he might have thought when he hit that there was another one to his recent tally Adrian Came up with the save. He was a late signing, James Milner, who made that piece of defending on the cover from yet another position. He had a season at left back, didn't he, a couple of years ago? So, but if uh, he's hurt as well, <laughs> no wonder, no wonder Jurgen Klopp puffs out his cheeks. him that had to make the recovery run he thought the ball was going to be played out wide started to go out wide and Walcott made a really good run down the middle just about got back and stopped Walcott getting the shot away well Jurgen Klopp was talking up his team selection saying look he said uh, you've got James Milner and Adam Lallana playing they'll, they'll play football any time of the 24 hours they'll play at four o'clock in the morning if you want let alone four o'clock in the afternoon here and, uh, Unfortunately, no. there's not many games played at four o'clock in the morning, is there? No. But if there was one, yeah, they'd play. He's your first pick, yeah. But he might not be the pick for the four o'clock afternoon. He's going to have to go off. Here's where he makes the run. Just there. See him stumble. Just stretching. Got back into a, a good position eventually. And there was a, a slip from Phillips. So Milner's. Four o'clock in the afternoon game is over after eight minutes. And it's obviously something that's been very much mentioned, the effects of playing a lot of games, as much as it may be a specific injury there, but Jürgen Klopp probably thinking, well, they've been playing every two or three days over the festive period, so... There go even younger. And Yasser yeah, so Larusi's on. I've been with the first team on pre season tours. It's looking more and more like the youth team. Scramble clear by Richarlis. Joe Gomez. And he's only 22. But, uh, one of the oldest players in red out on that pitch. And Milana must feel like a pensioner. Now taking the armband. His contract's up in the summer, and there's some talk he needs to. He feels he he needs to get away and play more regularly. He's had a, of course a couple of years punctuated by uh, far too many injuries. It wasn't caught so long ago where he was looking like England's best player for a while. He got the award, didn't he? They have a best player in a calendar year and he won it. So, uh, the two fullbacks who are so integral to the way Liverpool play 
Week in, week out, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andrew Robertson. And watching the young replacements. In a minute. Mason Holgate's having a good spell for Everton as well. The one that the new manager is showing good faith in. And the caretaker manager before him, Duncan Ferguson, who's been retained, was a coach, of course, under Marco Silva. But after pumping up the players, I think it's fair to say, Carlo Ancelotti's given him a lot of credit for the results that happened under Ancelotti's watch. The players in a, a better mental condition as... Uh, but Lewin really typifies that. Moved up by Schneiderlin. You can't escape the feeling, Stuart, that is a wonderful opportunity for Everton here. Their looks, first win of the century on this ground. And it looks like they're going to get the ball from back to front fairly quickly. With the forward ball, it wasn't a great one, it was slightly behind Calvert Lewin, but a rash challenge from Phillips. They've got some aerial ability of Everton, Nina being the main target. Might just want to switch this wide and get it into the box. Matt Phillips, son of a former player of some distinction, Jimmy Phillips, who had a good career, particularly at Bolton Wanderers. I don't think he's quite as left footed as his dad was. There's the left footer, Dina runs over it. In towards Holgate! Real chance. It's an easier save for Adrian this time. Mason Holgate recently got his first Everton goal in a cup tie in the uh, League Cup against Watford. And he really should have added an FA Cup goal then. It was a free header from decent distance. Well, he should have scored. It's a fairly easy header. Liverpool trying to hold a high line, Everton's players run from deep. He's just got to head it down either side of the goalkeeper and Everton will be 1-0 up. That's poor defending by Liverpool. Excellent ball from Sigurdsson. It's a nice height. Holgate runs from deep. Straight at the goalkeeper. But he gets enough on it. Just feel that attack might be the best form of defence for Liverpool and Holgate back there. Another situation where he probably felt that he could have cleaned it out a little bit more accurately, not giving away a corner. And Origi and Phillips will be the big targets for Liverpool here. Elliot to take it. Plenty of outswing from uh, Luca Dinia. Williams wasting no time getting it back in again, and it needed a touch. Well, Seamus Coleman, who provided it. Captain played by Sidibe, but only to Liverpool's advantage. Passed by Chirivella. He had an interesting return after a loan spell to Liverpool. That's a lovely ball from Lallana with Origi trying to track it down, and Pickford was quickly and decisively into the action. Lewin rather clearing a path for the ball then, allowing Richarlison to take it on. Richarlison did score, it was a pretty gloomy performance from Everton here in the Premier League. And it spelt the end for Marco Silva. We've already seen a couple of good crosses from that man there, Williams, right back. Just trying to get Origi up against Coleman at the far post. Dini. Lallana. And Chirivella. Really challenging. And all through the middle now. Thomas Coleman was actually in the last Everton team to beat Liverpool. It was a Goodison Park.
And he's now swapped to the left-hand side as Elliot. There's Duncan Ferguson's just sitting down in the foreground. Very recognisable, still looks as, uh, as he was when he was heading those goals and, as I say, trampling all over rival defenders in the best possible way. And direct again, as you pointed out, Stuart, from Pickford up to Calvert Lewin. Sidibe couldn't quite make up his mind whether he was going to run round the right hand side of the ball or the left hand side of it. And in the end, couldn't do either. If they do switch the ball out to him, he's got plenty of quality. And a really good start under Angelotti. Here's the man that's had the biggest chance so far, Holgate. Mentioning Chirivella has played it through midfield there up to Williams. He could have had uh, Liverpool, or it wasn't his fault, but the admin at the club hadn't re registered him properly. And they could have been uh, thrown out of the League Cup before they were actually knocked out. And the club got a big fine around £200,000 as a punishment for including him in a game that he wasn't entitled to play in. Maggie back on the left. And uh, more power and pace than. Colmwood can muster. Yeah, that's going to be a key battle. Calvert-Lewin up against Phillips. They're going to target that Everton. Having said that uh, Everton will regard themselves more as favourites probably than uh, a, visit to, <laughs> a visit to Anfield for a very long time. Because it would be a wonderful success if this young Liverpool team could get through to the fourth round and probably guarantee themselves some more first-team football, so it's a big incentive. Sidibe, cut out by Lalana. And then by Dini. Well, this formation that Everton are playing, Ancelotti describes as a three-and-a-half-man defence. He played that for Napoli here, didn't he? It's a good effect. Mm. He stopped Alexander Arnold and Robertson getting too much of the ball. There's that forward run again from Walcott. And here's the free kick. And the free header. I'm not sh quite sure why Liverpool don't want to defend the ball played in behind them. Nobody tracks Holgate's run. Really he's got to head it down. Big, big chance for the defender. Marucci. Might have been a bit disappointed to see so many of his young mates get a start, and then he's on very early. So he's got his opportunity. Ian Klopp also saying there'd be no team anywhere in this FA Cup weekend keener to get onto the field than his young Liverpool lineup today. Some of whom, of course, did play in that uh, bit of a hammering in the end at Aston Villa in the quarterfinals of the League Cup. It does go down as a, a defeat for Liverpool. There have been very few of them this season. It wasn't under the management of the man watching there, Jurgen Klopp. Had to get that right, did Phillips. Holgate. Seen some goals given away over this third round weekend by teams wanting to play from the back. Yesterday and today. Minamino. And Alana has a crack. And it's quite a fluent front line for Liverpool. Minamino just going that little bit deeper. Alana is playing as the furthest forward midfield player, driving into space. Slices across it. He scored this season. He scored at Old Trafford, an important goal. And we've got another potential uh, for substitution. The Charleston there. Yeah, that well, Angelotti's noted it and grimaced at it. Oh, just took a whack in the back of the leg. Mm, it's just Phillips. a whack. Whack. It might be. 
be even if it was to take him out of this game, it wouldn't probably keep him out for very long, but if it's a hamstring, it's not the matter, but we'll see. Penalised for it, Richarlison. Sigurdsson just caught on the ball here by Minamino. May have been a foul. That's what Richarlison was moaning about, I think. Minamino trying to take it through. Costs just over seven million pounds. The release clause in his contract. It could turn out to be a yet another piece of excellent recruitment from those who do that for Liverpool. Well, he was brilliant here. Yeah. Salzburg. Good comeback. The game looked hopelessly out of reach for them. Not being allowed to shepherd that out easily. He's got the throw that he wanted in the end, but Lucy was there at the gallop. He's got every right to challenge for it. He actually wins the ball. So the uh, the Sham Liverpool team doing their very best to call the tune here. They settled down a bit of time to work together on the training ground, but they had to make an early change in the original lineup. Playing with purpose, and as you'd imagine, plenty of pride. Elliot. And go again here. And in the corner. Martinho calls for a bit more effort from those around him. One or two of the Liverpool players were calling for handball there, particularly Minamino. Elliot came in field, he was looking for the reverse pass for Minamino. She has had it slightly blocked. It was exactly at the halfway point in this first half. A deep corner. From the 16-year-old. Chirivella. Phillips has been a, a way playing, if you like, uh, men's football. He's been on loan at Stuttgart. They had to call him back because of injuries. But it is the um, difficulty of the, the system. Um, the under-23 league doesn't quite have that uh, like full manliness about it, not because of age, just because of the lack of competition. And this is the real deal in the FA Cup here. Bello has settled in pretty well. He's had a lot of touches on the ball. That's a good tackle on Theo Walcott there. Just stopped the former Arsenal man running away with it. Lalana. Arusi. Lalana trying to burst through. It's a good finisher if you get him into the right areas. Historic season, even by Liverpool standards. And he's making an impact. Takumi Minamino. Well, there again, he lays the ball off and makes the run in behind Richarlison. Doesn't quite play enough on it, Elliot, just with the outside of his boot. Dangerous when a, a front player starts going back into his own box and sliding into challenges. So often, so used to seeing Alexander Arnold take these for Liverpool. In by Elliot. Should be uh, another corner. It's not been given. Oh, 
Nico Williams is a Wales under 19 international. So it came off with Charlison. Mm. Yeah, it certainly did. Expected uh, anything straightforward here, but he's had some big battles, of course, in his past. In Liverpool, there must be a couple of Champions League finals when he was in charge of from Milan. One lost in very dramatic circumstances, and revenge a couple of years later. Istanbul followed by Athens. Holgate. I had a couple of games, as you mentioned earlier, for Napoli against Liverpool this season. And two very good performances by Napoli, particularly tactically by Ancelotti. Yes, he's no stranger to the Premier League with his time with Chelsea. He's got a good command of English. He's a very companionable person. He was, uh, to have a chat, have a coffee, cappuccino, of course. An interesting adventure for him at Everton. Here's Walcott. Richarlison! And Adrian's there again. Certainly the busier of the two goalkeepers, even though Liverpool have had a fair share of the ball. Oh, and Richarlison can't connect this time, but he lined it up with an air of a man who expected to score. Adrian had other ideas. Well, it was good play down the right hands. Another good run from Theo Walcott. Came short and then spun into the space. Good cross, Richarlison coming in from the left-hand side. Did everything right. The run is right. He keeps over it. Just making good contact, but what a good save again from Adrian. I think it's the same leg as well. That right leg just closing his legs in time. And to look back to make sure that he hadn't scored. Gomez. Nacho Rivella. And that's the kind of aggressive running that you get from Mina Mina. John Moss says no foul, and Everton try and use the turnover to good effect, but they haven't. Here's Lalana. Now Elliot. Lalana not closed down. He can have a shot unattended too and might have done better. Well, they're struggling to pick up Minamino and Lalana Everton. They keep sw swapping positions. Minamino is almost playing the role that Firmino normally plays. Well, that was the suggestion, Stuart, that he'd come in to provide a bit of relief and support and competition for Bobby Firmino. Yeah, he doesn't quite wrap his foot round this one. It starts to just bend the other way, but wasn't good defending by it. Gudinia and Sigurdsson both went to Elliot and allowed Lalana that bit of space. I don't think you could believe it, really. Oh, by Minamino. Well, whatever Liverpool side you're playing against, if you try and play out from the back and you don't do it very well, they're going to be closing the ball down. He's joined in with that straight away, Minamino. We've seen Lalana close the ball down. Jones has pushed forward as well. It's been a really good first 29 minutes. Well, this side though have had the better chances. Carlo Ancelotti's team, but ruthless edge that's often been lacking in this stadium. Well, they have been. Uh, Better in recent games in terms of the Premier League. A decent run in the League Cup and then lost to Leicester on penalties. And scored a couple in there. In that game as well, a 2-2 draw and went to spot kicks. And there you saw the stats saying that Liverpool have dominated possession, but as you said, the three best chances have come Everton's way. Two different styles of football we're seeing at the moment. Minamino. 
Origi. Cut out by Sidibe. His first thoughts to. It was a Schneidlin, rather. His first thoughts were to get forward. And here goes uh, Theo Walcott to cross on the run. It's not an easy skill, and he very nearly put it on the money. That would have been a typical Calvert Lewin goal. Oh, this is the best I've seen Theo Walcott play for quite some while. Another good run from him. Ball played down the side by the midfield man, Schneiderlin. Almost the perfect cross. Did everything he could to get on the end of this one, Calvert Lewin. Just always getting away from him. They've been told by Carlo Ancelotti to play between the edges of the penalty areas through the centre and not go wandering off and put in a lot of uh, work outside in the wider areas, which he has been uh, such an eager player. He's been guilty of doing it, if, if guilt is the right word. But he's uh, simplified his role and he's got more goals because of it already. Coleman. I don't think anybody ever questioned his athleticism, his pace, his strength. It has been questioned, has he got the technical ability? to play at the very highest level. Well, we're starting to see that he has. A bit like Tammy Abraham as yeah. well. Yeah. Sometimes you need a long run in the side to get your confidence, to be a part of the team. Everybody believing in you. That's what he's doing at the moment, Calvert-Lewin. And likewise, Tammy Abraham at Chelsea. Williams. Thoughtful ball from Elliot, not quite the right angle. And again through the middle. And Japan International. And out by Larusi. The uh, Liverpool fans really enjoying seeing these youngsters play. I'm sure the uh, the diehards have been watching them in youth games and reserve games. Okay, trying to do something with this, and it, he did what he did. It was a bit fortunate to get away with. He didn't want to concede the corner. He got across here just about Nina half a foot in. I think it's uh, again an indication of the confidence. Jones cuts in from that left hand side. Yeah, good turn, not good defending by the two Everton players. It's got to be striking that across the goalkeeper. Jordan Pickford absolutely emphasising your point. Well, there you go at the back line in blue. This is where Everton don't look particularly confident. Mina is a great physical specimen, but I'm not sure he's the right player to be playing out from the back. Beyond the halfway line. Rigi. Now Jones. Back for Rigi again. Bringing it in. Oh, just avoided the head of Minamino. Oh, what a cross this is from Rigi. Oh, should actually get a better touch on it. He's found that space in behind Mina. Found the Roberto Firmino space, hasn't he? Exactly, he's in between two defenders, two or three yards away from both. He needs a better contact on it. The barnstorming work from Sidibe is fitted him well into English football. That uh, France World Cup winning squad. Holgate. Mm -hmm. Trickery to get forward. He's a bit lucky that that's rolled out of play, otherwise, they'd have been out of shape. Everton. And it's a lovely view of one of the great football grounds of the world. And Liverpool. 18 league titles, but none since 1990. Desperate to end this season as winners of the Premier League. They're in pole position. It's theirs to lose. And how an FA Cup run fits into that. 
Well, you're seeing because it will be a different set of players. So Gomez would straddle that particular divide. But we often talk about youngsters, whether they're British or otherwise, not getting a chance in the Premier League, but over this FA Cup weekend, I think a lot of the Premier League teams have shuffled their pack a bit. It's not just about prioritising the league, it's about giving opportunities to those who've sweated in the training ground and not had any first-team action of any significance because league teams have been rather settled. And what we're seeing here is a very enthusiastic bunch of young players for Liverpool closing the ball down, playing with energy, playing with no fear really. That's why the crowd are up for it. Momentarily with a scuffed kick. It's uh, coming back. Goodness me, well, Adam Lalana making sure in the end that it was the right side of the post from his point of view, but it was a closer call than he would have wanted. He actually took up a very good position. Got enough on it, didn't he? Mm. It looked it looked safer from the angle from behind the goal than it does from our side on view. Yeah, he was filling for Jones, who gave the ball away, got himself back into a good position. This is where you feel Everton may have a real chance. Good delivery from Dinia. And, uh, brush off the head of Phillips. He did. He's their biggest player. Nina has to be the target here. One of the best deliverers of a dead ball in Sigurdsson. Inside the last ten minutes of the first half. Sigurdsson takes. Oops, uh, Adrian. Less than convincing. Yeri Mina, of course, started in the last World Cup by attacking set pieces successfully for Colombia. Just got a touch on it. It's a really good touch. He's up against Chimavella. Not going to beat him in the air. Adrian wasn't going to get there. Nobody coming round the back for Everton. Back in some anguish, Adrian, but it was okay. But it might not be here for Liverpool. Calvert Lewin trying to bury it in the bottom corner. And he tried to use Sidibe as a. Somebody was going to go out and close him down. Instead, he goes for goal. Satipo is saying, why do you play me in? That shows signs of his confidence, Calvert-Lewin. He was the scorer of the winning goal in that tournament under 20 team, the player of the tournament, Dominic Solanke, scored in the uh, third round of the FA Cup. Hasn't made quite as much progress as Calvert-Lewin has since uh, that success in South Korea. And he scored for Bournemouth yesterday against Luton. was a former Liverpool player, signed for Bournemouth from Liverpool. And there's another player that really has never had a run in any team. I see Bernard on the back on the bench who pulled out of the uh, game recently, ended in the warm-up, apparently in a tackle with uh, Yerry Mina. Yeah, I think there's only going to be one winner there. Not little and large. Some lasting damage, and he's available if needed by Carlo Ancelotti later on. We're six minutes away from half time, but have added time for that James Milner injury. Holgate, Schneider. It's a push in the end. Ojibwe Sidibe. Sidibe. Chirivel has been in and around it for a few years now. Um, there have been times where it looks as though he's going to be moved on by Liverpool, but he's found himself in the right place at the right time for this particular fixture. So many Derby debutants. Gomez isn't one of them. And he cruises forward. Elliot. 
Good word you used, Stuart, at the start, precocious. Mm. Well, he's very much a left-footed player, playing on the right-hand side. He can go past people, and cut back onto his left foot and link up with the front player. Back by Dinia. And Williams. I just wonder what the feeling was in that Everton dressing room when the team sheets were exchanged. He probably came here expecting a different sort of Liverpool, but maybe not quite as different as it's turned out to be. It's a lovely ball by Elliot. Origi, can he finish it here? Oh, but for Pickford he would have done. The goalkeeper did very well to see it, let alone save it. Well, it's a brilliant stop. It looked as though Origi had a couple of opportunities before that to get his shot away. It's a lovely ball played into him here. May just have been offside when the ball was played. Turned onto his right foot the second time, but what a save that is from Pickford. Goes between the legs of Mina. Yes, it wouldn't have counted had it gone in, but of course VAR doesn't assess if it goes for a corner. And the corner it is. Elliot involved again. Oh, shouts for hand ball in there at the near post. But Everton break out. That's an important attack by Gomez. Playing his part and being miscontrolled by Sadibe. He hasn't played anywhere near as well as he's played so far under Ancelotti. He's not been able to get time on the ball. There, yeah, he miscontrolled it. It's almost as if he's a bit further forward in this uh, formation today. Rather than being a right wing back, he's almost a midfield player with Coleman playing it right back. Yeah, it's almost the back four at times. Mm. Dinya yeah. wants to get forward down this left hand side. Sadiba is just tucking in now. Williams. It's nicely done between the young and the experienced Adam Lalano. Plays a pass out to involve the youth again. And Larusi. Jones. Coleman. Stop the cross, it'll come all the way here to Minamino. Great, the defending. They haven't been able to stop crosses coming in Everton, even then when Minamino got the ball. He didn't really close him down with any great urgency. Same on the other side when Lucy got his cross in. Pedro Chirivella takes the corner, which is deflected of Coleman. It's an interesting position he's taken up there, because it's just him. And now someone else has come out and recognised the short corner. Maybe he was expecting that, but it hadn't happened in the earlier one. And Chirivella again. Offside here, and anyway, Pickford takes charge. Still uh, out of the Gareth Southgate's number one choice for England. I would say, with some goalkeepers I know, he'd be glad to get up the other end having made that mistake just over a year ago. But Jordan Pickford doesn't think like that, he just gets on with it. It's, uh, Things go wrong, he just dusts himself down and goes again, which is part of his quality as a keeper, an international keeper in particular. I wonder if Ancelotti in the half-time teams will just say to him, go from back to front that little bit quick. Every time he's tried to roll it out and they've tried to play out from the back, they haven't done particularly well. Here's that save. We don't think it would have counted because Origi was in an offside position when he received the ball. It's still a brilliant save. Pickford wouldn't know that. I saw Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain there in the back row, who was a surprise inclusion as a substitute, as he's been missing for a while. He's had uh, a lot of success in the FA Cup with Arsenal, like Theo Walcott. Oh, and a bit of confusion here. And Minamino was racing in. If there'd been any serious miscalculation, he might have had a tap-in. Oh, 
And the Starlets uh, serving Liverpool well. As we go to added time before half time. Martin Atkinson is at the number two. Well, it's been an interesting game. Liverpool have dominated a lot of the possession. They play some decent football. They've closed the ball down well, but the best chances have come Everton's way. And three decent saves from Adrian. And there's the ball you wanted from Everton's point of view, Stuart. Calvert Lewin heading underneath it. Walcott and Charleston coming in. Comes back to Walcott again. Sidibe. And it. Listen, you proved your point. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's far more dangerous when they do that, when they go longer. They try and aim for Calvert Lewin. Even, even if he doesn't win it, he's stopping the Liverpool defenders with it. And then they've got players running beyond him. See, Debbie's the last player here, but Walcott's running beyond him. Richarlison's running beyond him. Sigurdsson's trying to join in as well. And Liverpool can't cope with that long ball played forward. As long as it's done with a bit of quality, Everton can cause problems. Everton fans not uh, taking anything for granted. And maybe they're feeling the weight of expectation today. And they'll be... Uh, well, they're obviously of the new generation. They will have never... <laughs> probably never had the Everton win against Liverpool in their lifetimes. Some of those won't remember when Everton were the dominant force in the mid-80s. Yep. And it could be the dominant force here. Walcott, Richarlison, it wasn't the best ball. Richarlison still going. Walcott got free, it was a good run, but it wasn't a very good pass. In by Sidibe, and then Richarlison behind Calvert-Lewin. That's the way. That it is a softish centre. I and mean, this reconstructed side is going to have some weak points, and Everton have exposed them, but not taken advantage of them. Oh, this is a poor pass from Walcott. Had to be in front of Richarlison. When the next ball comes in, I think... Phillips gets a slight touch on it from this ball played in. That's what puts off Richarlison. Well, Adrian's made some important saves. One of the uh, elder statesmen of this young Liverpool side who's done the club proud. But, uh, Mason Holgate had a wonderful chance with a header. And Richarlison as well. And the busier goalkeeper has been the home goalkeeper, but the better football has been played by this revamped Liverpool side. Jürgen Klopp will be proud of them for their first 45 minutes but the better chances have been for Everton, who are craving this Anfield victory. Third round of the FA Cup, Merseyside derby, half-time, Liverpool nil, Everton nil. It's certainly still on. The young boys in red with one or two uh, older hands helping them out have given a good account of themselves in the first half. They will be aware, though, Stuart, that the better chances have come from uh, the team across the park. Yeah, three good saves from Adrian. I'm not sure he knew a lot about a couple of them. Saved them with his feet. But he'd be pleased, Jurgen Klopp, with the way his side closed the ball down, the way they passed it at in certain areas, the rotation of the front players. And Amino's done well in the false number nine role. And Jurgen Klopp unbeaten in Merseyside derbies. Together, this team we had one change very early on with Larusi coming in when Milner was hurt, making the first uh, significant piece of defensive play, and preventing a goal, but at some cost. Dinia, Richarlison, Walcott, and almost got it through for. Which Allison John Moss points for the corner. Yeah, Walcott's enjoyed his role as a almost playing in the number 10 position at times. And he's just trying to link up, particularly with Calvert Lewin. He's slightly worried with one or two aspects of his team's play in that first half, Angelotti. And he's got a good command of English, but the Glaswegian part of it, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Needed to check one or two things from Duncan Ferguson. Here's uh, the corner. Away by Lalana, and then it was a, a chance for Schneidlin. Really good layoff from Sadiba here with his chest. The crowd all shouted for handball, but just how clever he is there just to chest it back down. You can see what Schneidlin was looking for. But they do have um, Liverpool just to point out to you as Schneidlin misses the target. 
But we do have the man who hits the target so often, Sadio Mane, amongst their substitutes. Maybe it's a little bit of an insurance policy. Should Liverpool go behind? I don't think Jurgen Klopp will probably want to replay either, but obviously, as he's shown here, he can uh, spread his resources again. But the Everton side much more predictable in its selection. in the first half Everton it's a back four for most of the time with Coleman playing on the right hand side but now Luka Dina goes forward down the left hand side it becomes a back three with two wing backs something that Ancelotti did at Napoli a lot Phillips Chirivella yes Alarusi on to Divock Origi. Williams. Elliot. Well, he's just caught by Luca Dini, much as he protests. I'm not sure he's going to go down the outside too much, Elliot. He wants to get it back on his left foot. Just invites the challenge. It's a foul. And a chance to whip this ball in. As you mentioned in the first half, Origi and Phillips, the taller brethren for Liverpool. Not given the, uh, the chance to compete for the original ball, but the second one comes in. Far too close to Jordan Pickford from Liverpool's point of view. Yeah, that's always frustrating for the big centre-half coming up, Phillips. Ball doesn't come in, now he's got a race back to get on the halfway line. Incidentally, Liverpool's last FA Cup win was two years ago against Everton here at this stage. Two years ago to the very day. After that, they were knocked out at Anfield by West Bromwich Albion in the season. Now that fell at the first hurdle away to Wolves. for a bit of help and, uh, good pressing by the Liverpool youngsters they won't be short of energy that's for sure he never looks comfortable when he's on the ball at the back Holgate and he's put under a bit of pressure he's a good defender lots of pace he's been used in a few different positions recently he's obviously been seen a fair bit as a right back he played central midfield in the draw under Duncan Ferguson at Manchester United system which uh, the big Scott delighted in keeping a secret from all the broadcasters and pundits and coming up with a surprise it worked out well they got a, a good point Pickford not quite so good on his right foot Wide by Lalana. Williams. Nice well, look at Trent Alexander Arnold, he's a great example. He's not that much older than the Wales under 19 international, but he's played 100 games for Liverpool now. He saw one of his first ones, certainly his first, one of his first goals. Oh, there's a. Uh, Another example of the similarity. Well, William is doing really well there. Shelley's got good technique when he comes forward. Here's Jones. He's very confident on the ball. Into the stride of Lalana. That's kind of was interrupted. But not. Uh, I know that. Lallana expected maybe John must have pulled his card out here. Well, Richarlison has been unhappy with a couple of decisions that mm. haven't been given for him. Chase him back. That's a foul and probably should be a yellow card. 
good view that John Moss had of that. He's just lost his head a little bit, Richarlison. So what have Liverpool got up their sleeves here? Conversation between Elliot and Chiribella. Ready to come out and get anything that's perhaps clipped in towards the penalty spot. Chiribella puts it into that kind of area. Pickford didn't come for it and he was right not to. There's a flat ball. Well, he is a threat, Phillips. He's defended quite well when balls have come into his own box. Doesn't get a touch on it there. Calvert-Lewin wasn't sure who was behind him. Played safe. Forwards hate being back in their own penalty area. But uh, he's done a job there and he's got that front zone to try and control. Grappling here with Origi. Chirivella takes, looking for a, a flick on. Well, didn't quite get enough on it. Trying to stop uh, Coleman playing out. Coleman saying, where's the help? And it wasn't there. Nothing gets a, bit, a bigger cheer at Anfield than Liverpool pressing the ball and winning it back. Pickford, I guess, was one of the players that Coleman thought might have been able to help him. I'm not sure that was the case. Out to uh, Dinia. Yeah, has to scurry, and Origi's there, and Everton going back towards their own goal and nervous again. Pickford's pass out is not a good one. And Coleman does get it. And now Walcott. He's got support infield from the eager Sidibe. Now Richarlison. Just showed too much of it to. Chiribella. Well, the ball had to go wide to Dinya. He made that run. He's got to take the defender in for it. Now chop it back, but he overran it. Good defending by the recovering midfield player. Frustration for Ancelotti. He can't believe they didn't make more of that. Mm. I'm thinking about making a substitution early in the second half. Seen too much of Everton yet since the restart. Here's Gilfie Sigurdsson. This uh, impressive record as a visiting player from various clubs. This ground. That's a clever ball too. And Mina was going for it. Well, he must be frustrated there, Mina. He's throwing his arms up in the air. That looked to be a really big chance for the centre back, who is so good in the air. was the, uh, the copy of Trent Alexander-Arnold by Nico Williams. Oh, he's just creeping in at that near post. <laughs> Everton have gone out in the third round in three of the last five years. I mentioned their glory period in the 1980s, Stuart, because they played Liverpool in a couple of FA Cup finals. Both times, so uh, it was challenging all the time. It was often one and two in the league. Between these two, those days must seem very distant for the Everton fans. Although they stayed in the Premier League when it became the Premier League from the old First Division, they've been at the top flight since the 1950s. Only Arsenal have had a longer spell without uh, dropping down a division. I think they're the only two clubs that have never been relegated from the top division. And Arsenal certainly have never been relegated because they got up by mysterious means just after the First World War. That's a story for another day. Everton did have a, a certainly the next after Arsenal. They did have a spell in the, the second tier in the early 1950s. Not for long. Dean is having trouble with uh, Elliot and he ends up getting a yellow card. Elliot just getting in behind him here. As soon as you 
grab hold of the attacking player. Oh, he's going to get a yellow card. Some of the uh, rivalry of the past went into brutality. It was quite a lengthy charge sheet of players have been sent off in this fixture. There's been nothing too sinister so far today, but Dinia can't afford another misplaced challenge, or he could join that rogues gallery. Liverpool press again. Nina's oh, aerial abilities needed again. Didn't have a great first season after coming for the World Cup. He's played the part. He's settled in more regularly now. And Cam Phillips in half a yard. Somebody around him to take advantage of maybe the marking on him. And it's pretty, pretty zonal. And one or two getting those coming in from the edge of the area. And one thing they might want to do is miss out Mina. That's him that gets his head on it again. Back in by Jones. Wide away by Sidibe. Lucy covering, but it. Uh, he needed the second challenge, and it was uh, fair enough. Ken Moss was very close to it. Yeah, Walcott won the ball, was just trying to play it. The next pass in to Richarlison, and he was caught by Larussi. John Moss of the uh, current group of referees is probably one with the best playing pedigree, but he was quite a, a good non league midfield man for a few years until the Recognise his chance of reaching the top were through putting on black rather than any team strip. And Walcott is up and running again. Gomez. And that's where Dinia has to be careful. Elliot. Trying to getting Fabian Delph ready. Uh, was with Manchester City when they won the cup last season, but uh, not involved. I think he only played in one tie. But did get to the FA Cup final, captain Aston Villa actually, in the game against Arsenal. Involved Theo Walcott, his teammate now. But Liverpool looking impressive again. Charleston actually did well there. He got back to help out. Then yet, he knew that Elliot wanted to bring it back onto his left foot. Oh, yeah, his next job is to take the corner. Liverpool well ahead in this respect. A short one, Lalana. A shortish one towards the liner at the near post. And Coleman, clash of the captains again. I think it's fair to say Everton haven't got going in this second half. Oh, to make sure there was no fumble there. He was alert. Again, uh, spurning the chance to go long. I... It's into the feet of Walcott in the end, did uh, Coleman. Yeah. Mina. Another example of how Walcott is much better when he's running towards goal than when he's got his back to goal. Yeah. Way cheap possession there. And then got his head to it. And then uh, pressure followed from uh, Sigerson wasn't quite there quick enough. Whether he might be one of the players going off. Ancelotti does want to make changes now, and I can understand why. The 15 minutes of the second half hasn't been anything like as threatening as some of their play in the first half. It's Liverpool who are calling the tune here with Minamino and Jones. Elliot. Crafty ball for Williams. Well by Holgate. And he left it out of play. He's bundled over. 
Martin asking for a free kick on his behalf. So it's going to be a double change. Fabian Delf. And Moyes Keane. Indeed, Sigurdsson is one to depart. He yeah, didn't have his most influential of games. Sigurdsson playing much deeper than he normally does. He likes the number 10 role. He was playing alongside Schneidlin in that central midfield. So Delph is still in and around the England squad. The injuries have actually cut his chances of more representative honours. Moise Keane is this injury is coming on for Coleman, so it is going to be a, a back four. Moise Keane, who's a, an inspired acquisition, hasn't yet been able to show fully what he can do. He's not scored an Everton goal yet. This would be a great time to start. He could turn himself into a legend if he could win the game for Carlo Ancelotti here. Within uh, a few months of signing for the Toffees. Well, he did have a great spell at Juventus and for the Italian national side. He's a keen. Jarlison just nicking the ball away here, mm. and then was brought down. Yeah, expecting a bit of retribution. <laughs> but, uh, Williams hasn't been the serial offender, and I think Luca Dean was saying to the ref, oh, you just put me. It's more for persistent fouling. Can't really be laid at Williams' door. Well, I imagine he's going to play up front with Calvert Lewin as a two. Play on to good effect against Manchester City. Not such a good effect away to Manchester United when the sub himself was subbed. Gomez. Picking out Larusi. He finds Jones. And beckons to Rivella forward. Williams. Elliot. It's a cheeky ball. It's just asked too much of. Milana might not have been totally impressed by it. Uh, Jordan Henderson, who uh, has never lost the Merseyside derby, 14 previous appearances. Sidibe. Did well to get a foot in. Calvert Lewin did well to keep it in. Hoping to win a free kick. Everton trying to press, but Liverpool confidently playing their way around it. Uh, Williams against Richarlison. It will be a test. Williams has kept it. Everton very much a 4-4-2 now. Sidibe has gone back to right back. Walcott playing on the right hand side. Well, it's not the sort of passage you play you'd normally praise for a team that's actually ripping it up in the Premier League. But to see this young team pass the ball around that, invite Everton to come and press, try and work their way up the field by finding gaps because that press doesn't work. But now they've got to think about defending because this is Walcott looking for Keane. And not finding and that's been, I suppose, to some extent, Theo Walcott's career. He's, he's played very well in the first half. And then just when you think he's got a chance to create what would be a priceless goal for Everton, this happens. I think he could keep running with the ball. The Rusi wasn't going to catch him up. He's just gone to sleep on a couple of occasions. The left back, Walcott getting in behind him. He's looking just to roll that ball in behind the defender for Moise Keane, but got it completely wrong. And there you can see by the completed passes, Liverpool have dominated possession. That's the way uh, Carlo Ancelotti has impacted the team in his short time as Everton manager. They're not the sort that's going to particularly outpass the opposition in any game, but 
they have found some uh, some power in the attacking third. And here's Delf trying to bring his uh, weight of experience to the midfield. Dina can't quite get there. And he's frustrated. The pass to him wasn't quite good enough. Just had to work that little bit harder to get it away from the defender. He has said, and we can't actually substantiate what he said, but that we should believe him. On a couple of occasions, he was a, approached by Liverpool early in his career to sign for Anfield, the Anfield club. <laughs> Lalana. Liverpool, of course, with uh, Larussi made one early change. And Klopp's thinking about another with uh, another quarter of the game to go. And there he is, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Restored to fitness. It's slightly speculative. That pass from Sidibe. Delph, and that's the point you made earlier. So Yuri Mina doesn't like doing the clever stuff at the back, or the supposedly clever stuff. Everton fans just starting to get onto their team when they play out from the back. And groans and moans from behind that goal. I think we thought that uh, Carlo Ancelotti would have emphasised the. Uh, the strength in this game of the long ball up to Calvert Lewin when they talked at half time, but we've hardly seen a sign of it in the second half. Well, even more so now that they've got two up front Calvert Lewin and Moise Keane. Well, that was awkward for Pickford from Origi from distance. And that leads to another Liverpool corner. And Everton. Rather playing the history of the fixture and the experience of the team that they're facing. It just bounces in front of Pickford, and it gathered a bit of pace on its way. It's a long way out from Origi. Puts both hands behind it. Now the end of the debut for Takumi Minamino. It's part of 70 minutes under his belt. Lessons learnt. Appreciative comment from the manager and Alex Oxlade Chamberlain assumes his FA Cup career, which had some high moments in his previous club, Arsenal. Chirivella with the corner. And Pickford a good take. And now it does go long. That's a two -point. It was on too. Yeah, he knew it. Frustrated with himself because he's such a good deliverer. From, from balls from the back. Oh, big diagonal. Bringing uh, Origi into the picture. Oh, dummy by uh, Oxley Chamberlain, knowing that uh, Arusi was behind him. And the weaker side of Pickford when it comes to kicking. Exposed by the direction of the back pass. Origi. Goes again. Jones. Oh, magnificent. A sensational goal from one of Jurgen Klopp's teenagers here. Curtis Jones has picked out the top corner and given this fresh young Liverpool side the chance of a fabulous victory in the Merseyside derby in the third round of the FA Cup. Well, it looks as though he's playing further forward with Minamino going off. Just found that bit of space, but it's brilliant plays. It's in the centre forward position. There's the link up play. Rigi does well to get it back to him. But as soon as that left his boot, you knew it was going into the top corner. What a strike this is. Wrapping his foot round it. Only place that he could beat Pickford. Brilliant from the youngster. Well, at 18, he's writing his name into the history books of LFC, as they call themselves up here. Spot on. To ab 
absolute perfection, as you say, Stuart. The only place it could go in. The smile of the man who picked him. And he can't do much wrong, Jurgen Klopp, at the moment. And this is a test for Everton now. But it has been coming. Everton haven't really turned up for the second half. And Jones, who's been confident right from the off, reflecting the mood of these young players, has come up with a stunner. And also reflecting the versatility of the players. He found himself in the centre-forward position there, tried to link up with Origi. Played that little bit deeper in the first half. Alongside Chirivella. What a moment. And this... Derby with a difference, except the way it's going. There's nothing different about that. And Everton are all over the place at the moment. Oh, Pickford, it wasn't going in. Steve from Oxlade Chamberlain, but Pickford desperate to get hold of the ball and try and get Everton somewhere near levelling it up here. Well, I thought there should have been a yellow card here. Schneidlin, watch this tackle here. Oh, Jones, Oxlade Chamberlain doing really well to cut inside Sidibe. Tries to go back in at the near post. Calvert Lewin. And it's important for Everton. He saw the reckless challenge, and there's Delft just smashing through the ball that they keep their heads. Otherwise, Liverpool will keep their lead if they lose the plot here. One goal isn't fatal, but it might feel like that coming from you know, such a new source. The vein of talent is being mined here by Jurgen Klopp. And they've played exactly the same way as the first team do. They've picked their forward passes when they've needed to, there's been forward movement, they've closed the ball down with great pace and intelligence. That's what they expect to see, whether it be the youngsters, the senior players. They've been enthralled by the youngsters' performance here. That's the Jones boy. He's already won one game here this season from the penalty spot in the shootout in the EFL Cup, the Carabao Cup against Arsenal, in a game that had ten goals. And it went to penalties. And he uh, put the uh, decisive one away, and the Jurgen Klopp said afterward, pressure, he doesn't feel any pressure. And he's played like that right from the off here. He believes he belongs, and he's showing that. He's at the heart of this move. There's another great challenge there as well. As, uh, Martin again. I feel at times they're chasing shadows. The shadows of the shadow players. Well, that was the Liverpool good. roster. Yeah, that was brilliant from Jones. A couple of one-twos, getting himself high up the field. He's now playing on the left-hand side of a front three. Rigi's playing through the middle. But what a goal he scored. Delph. Mm. That's not going to help. Carlo Ancelotti's going to learn here about the, um, the mental side of his players. Sometimes you, you know, if someone produces a worldie, and that's what it is, on the wrong end of it, you've got to react to it. You said it absolutely right. You could feel it coming. Everton haven't really come out for the second half. Haven't got the ball forward into the front players enough, or with quality. The front players haven't been able to hang on to it when it has been played up to them. Change left. Carlo Ancelotti, he's got Bernard, the uh, Brazilian international. Uh, we should say former Brazilian international. He's not played for a long time in this country. He was part of that 7 1 World Cup semi final defeat, so he knows a bit about humiliation in ties. Uh, beaten by Germany in Belo Horizonte. 
amazing football matches I've been privileged to attend. This one has got its own sense of surprise as well. Walcott wins the corner of Larussi. But whatever happens from now on, the young team of uh, Jurgen Klopp, he's, he's been justified in his selection, and maybe Carlo Ancelotti is questioning his. Luca Dean. This is where they need Mina to come up with the goods, mm. Everton. There he is. His, yeah, if it's on his head, he's got every chance of hitting the target. Like Curtis Jones is trying to pick him up. It's a, a tall order. Adrian gets to it. And then Schneidel in his sky one. A bit closer earlier. That was nowhere near. Can he get something on it, Adrian. Not a great punch to the edge of the box, but not good technique from Schneidel. Always leaning back, not getting his knee over the ball. It's the bottom half of it, that's why it spins over the bar. Theo Walcott had a good first half, nowhere near the same player in the second. And gives way to Bernard. Club with a famous in sight, doesn't for experienced players. He's got another teenager, slightly older than Harvey Elliott, Rian Brewster. About him, there's talk of uh, a January loan. But as Jurgen Klopp said uh, a couple of days ago, while he's still here, I'll I'll use him. At least some of these players probably will be available for loan, but if they stay in the FA Cup, of course, January will be will come and go. And they can only go in January. Until next summer. Well, straight swap. Brewster's going to go and play on that right hand side. Chirivella. We've talked about the youngsters for Liverpool, but you've also got to give credit to the likes of Lalana, who's held everything together. He's been a great example to the young players. The same, well, maybe he's not that old. Gomez mm. has done really well at centre half. And feeling the Anfield force again. Liverpool unbeaten in the last 22 Merseyside derbies here since 1999. He's loving it, isn't he? But he's not. There's still time. I think he is. I've seen today that there's still a lot of work for him to do on this Everton side. They won a few games under Duncan Ferguson, not through their tactics or their quality, but just through endeavour, hard work. And that can only last for so long. That's why Ancelotti's got to try and improve the tactical side of their game, the technical side of their game. Well, technically, Liverpool have been superior. The passing has been better, they've scored an outstanding goal. Phillips. And Ancelotti will have to realise that they can't play out with the, from the back with the likes of Mina and Holgate as their centre halves. Look at this. Looks like Chamberlain. Go, go, hold me down. Just being encouraged to try it again. To the feet of Origi. Back for Oxley Chamberlain. Winds up for the shot. Anticipated the direction. I'm really thinking about Everton on the front foot because they badly need to. Good link up play from Origi. Doesn't start it wide enough, Oxley Chamberlain. Wonderful now ahead on shots and shots on target. It starts that Everton were leading on at half time. Everton are all out of shape now when the ball's played forward there. There's no midfield in sight. Jones. Rigi. Oh, his frustration. Rigi lets fly. Can point to the league table and the 
Hughes just up and see it. 33 points, but this isn't Liverpool's Premier League team. But there's still a discrepancy. So, the Tonians will find it hard to live with. We, uh, eight minutes plus stoppage time away. He's slightly critical of Fabian Delph and Schneiderlin. When the ball's been played forward to the front players and it's been a drop down, they've not been anywhere near it. They're still sitting in front of the two centre halves. Got to be closer to the knockdown, win the next one, get Everton on the front foot. Well, if they don't play with uh, a greater sense of, uh, I don't say desperation, but they've got to take some risks. This is just going to peter out. But here's Jones, that's why perhaps they're not doing it because every now and then, well, on a pretty regular basis, Liverpool are finding passes to get into Everton's defensive third. Mina saying it should be a goal kick, but it's another good run from Jones. Spinning in between the centre half and the full back. A sense of mourning over there if it stays this way. Is that time going to move from Goodison Park eventually? They have a new site for a new stadium. They would herald a new era. Chirivella. Edison's throw. And he can take the dug out to his ball boy. Schneiderlin. Well, you've got to risk losing 2 0 to try and get a 1 1 here if you're in Everton's shoes. Here's Jones again. Standing game, apart from the goal as well. Let's just put the cherry on the icing on the cake for him. Williams, none of them have looked out of place. And you know, when you think maybe what happened at Villa Park with a team entirely of youngsters in the quarter-final of the League Cup while the seniors were away, it would be uh, confirmed as world champions. Lalana. And again, Marusi. It's a bit over ambitious, but they have shown all the confidence that Jurgen Klopp said in his pre match interview. They're bursting to play, and boy, have they played. And this team know all about it. Uh, on the verge of a, a humiliating defeat, I think it has to go down as that. Well, the second half has been humiliating for. Ancelotti, his players and those fans standing behind the goal, or sitting behind the goal. Chavis has hardly had a touch for ten minutes. And there he is. Oh, want a free kick, I think going to get it. What a prospect he is. Oh, so many of these young players for Liverpool look to be outstanding players, outstanding footballers. Not just their ability, but their understanding of what's expected of them from the manager. It's a little bit more of a haunted expression for Carlo Ancelotti. It's pretty bad being 3 0 up at half time with Milan and losing that Champions League final. But although the uh, consequences of defeat here will not be so historic, it will be. A fable tale in the uh, long story of the rivalry up here on Merseyside if Liverpool can hold on. Four minutes to go plus stoppage time. I wonder if he's also questioned himself here because they started off well, they got the ball forward into the front areas, they looked to be a threat. You could see what shape they were playing. Since he's made the changes, they've been disjointed. They're not quite sure where the next pass is. There's been too many spaces for Liverpool to play in between them and round them. And when the ball has gone into the front areas, the two midfield players haven't been anywhere near close enough. Not done yet. It's a free kick to Everton. They need a bit of inspiration from somewhere. Maybe just a lack of concentration from these young players for him going 90 minutes at this level is a new experience. The Jones boy at the moment. Pulls the whip hand. Oh, 
taken by Pickford. And Phillips losing it momentarily with his help on hand. Be a throw the one hand ball. Well, they were lucky there. Phillips was the only player that reacted to that big ball played over the top. They will be long and successful careers, these Liverpool youngsters. This day will have a special place in their memories if we can see it through. Still working so much harder than Everton. Does what perhaps he might have done a bit more often to get it long, but it didn't go down the middle. But Lewin wandering out to the far side. There you see that <laughs> Liverpool have dominated the last five minutes or so. Big to the Trundy getting back into the game, but it hasn't been that way. And they've got less than two minutes of regulation time. Themselves off something in the shape of Richarlison. Just about controlled himself. He was going to kick that ball at the... Assistant referee for a moment there. I say that Jürgen Klopp just about controlled himself as well because we've seen some spectacular celebrations from him, big moments, certainly a big moment with a 1 0 win over Everton here last year when it happened so late and he ran onto the pitch and had to uh, apologise to the authorities after that. And he would be so proud. And Klopp's kids. Doing it bounces off him. A minute plus three, we're hearing. She saw some brilliant work from Lalana there. Bruce had gone through the centre forward position. Lalana realised that, raced out to Lugadinia, made him play a poor ball forward. And bounced back to him, he won possession again. It's a slightly weird, weary ball from Chiavella. Lalana going in, never committing himself and. The frustration again for Everton with Virginia this time. That pained expression and most of the afternoon. Nearly there, Jurgen. And nearly out, Carlo. Well, we said before the game if Everton lose to this very young Liverpool side, it would be certainly damaging for the morale of Everton. The supporters. Three up on the board as we were rightly informed. So there's still time for the boys in blue. Reception by Lewis, every wonderful contact being cheered to the rafters here at Anfield. Where did the three minutes come from? It's bound to be something along those lines. Some substitutions it's supposed to be taken into account. The celebrations after a goal's been scored. What a goal it was, but it's not yet confirmed as the winner. Sidibe. It was a, only a glimmer of a chance, really. It was a ball into the box, and they've been very short of those. Well, it was a long ball played for. They win the first one. They've got players around the second ball. It's a decent ball played in. Just over the top of Calvert Lewin, he probably would have had the better chance had it been on his head. Oh, a keen, just can't get above it. Hardly seen him since he's been on. I'll put it into context for our viewers, Stuart. This well, a lot of young players. Everton would have looked at the team sheet, probably been disappointed because they never have been on a hide into nothing, but they'd have expected to go and dominate the game both physically in terms of their experience and it hasn't been the case Everton started well they got the ball forward into the right areas and then stopped playing and Liverpool have dominated they've had the better technical players playing in and around pressure they've been the better organised team it's been a magnificent performance from nearly every one of these young players for Liverpool and a very poor display particularly in the second half from Everton
worrying times for their fans and Angelotti. Well, there's been talk about uh, teams disrespecting the competition. A lot of changes from Premier League sides in the games yesterday. And uh, Liverpool might have been a, accused of that if it had been a different outcome. But in the end, they can praise the competition. It's given the outlet of these young talents a showpiece here. A game watched around the world. And they're, what, 20 odd seconds away from securing an amazing victory. Klopp intimated before the game. These players would be so enthusiastic to play. It's their big chance. Rather than tired players going out, these put in players that want to win, want to prove themselves, and they've certainly done that, Liverpool. There's a block from Origi right at the end. And the message from Liverpool is, our kids are all right, you better believe it. Carlo Ancelotti bows out in his first FA Cup tie as the manager of Everton in the worst possible circumstances.